Hello there, it's your favorite Uncle Josh, and we're back with uh, Season 1, Episode 2 of Sailor Moon Crystal. Let's get into this, shall we? So, yo, it starts off with, uh, we're going to call them by their Sailor Days, because I feel like they're going to really inspire, I'm just going to lie. Sailor Mercury is super smart, but people, like, you know, she's an IQ, she studies all the time. She ain't got no friends. Everybody's like, sorry to, I hate to say it, they hope they don't sound ridiculous, but they don't know who she is. She could be walking down the hallways and they, hey, they wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to that girl. That is what she's coming off as. And she's going to get herself some friends by the end of this episode. My thing is this. Why are they only thinking that this crystal can only be in Japan? Has anybody ever thought of like Ethiopia, Ohio, California, Brazil, Haiti, St. Montany, Dominican Republic, Australia? Why well, it's gotta be in Japan, y'all? Wouldn't this make more sense to go to other places? Or did they like do some like magic and pinpoint that it was right there where all the guardians would be? Which makes sense if you're the queen to, to you know keep it there. That does make sense to make sure that when you know are scattering people into the future, you make sure you put everything by you so you can protect it. Now, Sailor Mercury, I understand not wanting friends because people are a trip. So I get keeping to yourself, getting to your studies, you know, so you can leave and never see these people again. Oh, I get it. I get it. So Sailor Mercury end up beating the game and end up getting the pen. I think that's the pen that's going to like activate like her Sailor Mercuryness. And then the one lady here, you can clearly tell she's the evil person that the one guy had to create because, you know, he failing at this. Yeah, you know, I think she gonna, they're going to try to hypnotize her, but we rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Y'all, don't expect me to be nobody's role model for nobody's students. High Achiever, I might want to eat some chips and watch TV. I have the right to do that. So, she randomly gets a pen that causes her to be able to do stuff? Like, did Pastor really think all this stuff through or did when she, like, created the, like, spell... She just like threw like let me put this in here just in case. Was it like a just in case stuff? Like man, let me dash this in here just in case I need an extra power. Let me dash this in here for my good friends. Let me dash that in here for Sailor Venus. Let me dash that in there for Sailor. Or are we just like winging it? Cause it's hard to get plot holy ish. Like just say. So Serena transforms Usagi in a triple in a typical Usagi Sailor Moon fashion. She's being weak and defenseless. Like, help! She transforms, help! What am I doing? Somebody help me! I can't! And I'm just like, you useless. You, you matter of fact, give me your brooch back. You can't do this. I'm gonna find somebody else that look like you to do this. So Sailor Mercury found out that Luna was the one that gave her the pen so she could transform. That's a guardian right there. That's a guardian. Of course, they won the battle, y'all. This is a TVY7 show for kids. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and come back, y'all. This is getting good.